my name's Blake Yarbrough. I'm going to be wearing this sneaker every single day for 365 days. I'm super stoked to try this out. I know a lot of people usually do wear tests and they'll do maybe 30, 60, 90 days. I thought why not try to push this shoe to the limits and wear it for 365 days. I linked up with Rashubinator. I'm actually shipping these shoes out. They're gonna ship them back to me and I'll open them here on camera for you guys. Welcome back or welcome to Shoe Care Academy powered by Rejuvenator. My name's Nick. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we post two videos every single week. Mondays with my homie and yours, Vic Almighty with Customs Restorations. And every single Thursday, another Shoe Care Academy episode where we teach you how to elevate your shoe care. Without further ado, let's get into this video. On this episode of Shoe Care Academy powered by Rejuvenator, we've got a banger of an episode. Our friend and yours, Blake Yarbrough, has sent us in a very, very special pair inside of this box. What's inside the box, you ask? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Calm down, it's all right. You see these? We've got the Tom Sachs Nike Craft General Purpose Studios. Now, these things are completely trashed, destroyed, nasty, dirty, greasy, grimy. I mean, these things look like they have gone through it and back and then back to us. Blake has been wearing these for 365 straight days, day in, day out, at work. Now, what does Blake do for work, you ask? I'm gonna tell you, don't worry about that. He's an airplane mechanic. He's been working on all those airplanes every single day for a year to make sure that you guys can get from point A to point B, but, wearing these Tom Sachs GPS studios. So all we have to do is get them nice and cleaned up so that way we can send them back to him so he can get back to making sure that all those airplanes are ready to go. So without anything left to it, let's go ahead and get these cleaned up. We've got our cleaning station all set up. Now for this cleaning, we're gonna be using a few different Rejuvenator products that you can find online at rejuvenator.com. Make sure you use my link below to help save yourself some money. The main component of this cleaning is gonna be the Rejuvenator Signature Kit. It includes your four ounce bottle of solution, all three of your brushes, soft, medium, and stiff, your microfiber towel, patented laundry bag, as well as two adjustable shoe trees. Now for this cleaning, we're also gonna be pairing that with our Rejuvenator laundry pods drying rack and bowl combo, as well as our cleaning mat. Now for video purposes, we only ever clean one shoe, so that way you guys can see the benefits and the effects of the product. So for that, we're gonna get rid of this one, and these, and this. Now to start this cleaning, first thing we need to do is remove these laces. Now I'm gonna drop these into the bowl of water so they can soak throughout this entire cleaning. Next, we're gonna use two squirts of solution into the bowl of water. Next step is to insert the adjustable shoe tree into the sneaker. Now these are a size 12, so we're going to adjust it to size. Gonna guess about yonder. Gonna slide it into the shoe, lock it down. The purpose of the shoe tree is to give you a nice hard surface so that way you can use as much pressure as you need to into the toe box of the sneaker to really get it clean, as well as helps reshape the sneaker and alleviate any of the creasing around the toe box. Next step is just use our soft bristle brush and get to cleaning. Now before you start cleaning, you need to know what you're cleaning. Now this Tom Sachs GPS is made out of a couple different materials. You've got canvas, suede, mesh, nylon, rubber, it's kind of a mixed media shoe. So for that, we're gonna be using all of our different bristle brushes to clean the sneaker, but we're not gonna use all of them on all the panels. To start, we're gonna really try to break down the top layer of dirt and grime on this shoe using the Rejuvenator Soft Bristle Brush. It's safe on almost all materials, and you don't risk snagging or deforming and or hurting any of the materials that are included on this sneaker, including the suede, as well as the mesh and the canvas with our Soft Bristle Brush. We're just gonna dunk it in the bowl, and we're gonna get really, really soaked up to really break down that top layer of dirt.
All right, we've hit the uppers on this shoe one time using our soft bristle brush. I also took out the insole and cleaned the top of that. So next we're gonna put the insole back into the sneaker. We're gonna put the shoe tree back in as well. And then we're gonna move on to our medium bristle brush. Now this is kind of an all purpose brush. It works great on most materials. Now the soft bristle brush did not get all of the staining out of this suede back here. This suede's pretty durable. I know I can use the medium bristle brush on it. To be safe, you always need to test in an inconspicuous spot with the medium bristle brush on your suede and delicate materials to ensure that the brush will not damage the material. I've cleaned a lot of suede like this before. I know our medium bristle brush will be okay for it. So for this, we're just gonna dunk it in a solution and try to get some of this deeper marking out of this suede. That's gonna wrap it up for the medium bristle brush. As you saw, we went ahead and hit all of the suede panels as well as the mesh tongue and the canvas upper with the medium bristle brush again. And it really helped get some of those deeper marks and staining out of this material, but I still know that it really needs to get flushed out in the laundry system, which we'll get to that step later. Last step before we put in the laundry system is hitting the outsole using our stiff bristle brush. Now this brush is the stiffest brush that we have. It's included in the essential kit, the signature kit, as well as our three brush pack. And you only wanna use this on, on your outsole materials and sometimes your hard rubber midsoles. You need to be mindful of anything that's painted because this does run the risk of damaging and stripping the paint off. For this, we're just gonna dunk the brush and we're just gonna clean the outsole of the sneaker. Next step, we're gonna take the laces that have been sitting in the bowl of water and solution this entire time, and we're going to scrub them and try to get as much of the dirt and debris and gunk out of them as we possibly can prior to dumping them in the wash. This way we don't have all that dirty water just sitting inside the washing machine as well. Scrub them between your hands, give them a couple squeezes, let all that dirt and debris and gross, nasty, grimy grease get out of there. We're gonna use the soft bristle brush to help break down this top layer of dirt even more. That concludes the pre-treatment on this sneaker. I don't know if you guys remember what this thing looked like a couple of minutes ago, but it was completely black. Now, anytime you clean canvas, mesh, or suede, when it's wet, it really looks dingy. So I'm not too afraid of how bad it looks right now. I know that after we put it in the laundry system and drop it into the laundry machine, it's gonna really flush out all of that trapped in dirt inside of this materials and really flush it out. And this sneaker is gonna come out definitely a few shades brighter. Next step is dropping the sneaker into the laundry bag. Cinch it up, make sure you lock it. Drop your laces into the little pocket in the front. You can put the laundry pod in the pocket as well if you want, or you can drop it in the laundry system. Next, you're gonna drop it into the laundry machine, put it on a normal cycle, cold water, and let it run. As you can see, we've got the sneaker out of the laundry. We've let it dry for a couple of hours and first impressions, not great, but also not terrible. I don't know if you remember what it looked like previously, but we've definitely made some improvements. Now we went next door to Many Worlds, which is our drop off cleaning service here at Rejuvenator. And we're gonna use some of the other tools that they have here to help deep clean this sneaker one extra time. They've got air compressors, they've got steam cleaners, they have a couple other brushes as well that I think might help get this sneaker really back to life. So all we gotta do now is head over to this cleaning station I got set up and hit it for the second time.
All right, we've went ahead and hit this shoe one more time using the soft bristle brush as well as the solution in the water. I also use the steamer as well as the air compressor to really try to flush out this trapped in dirt and debris and grime into this upper as much as I possibly can, as well as through the mesh tongue and also the suede along the, along the toe box as well as the heel. One thing I'm noticing is this blue on the tongue as well as the heel is bleeding into here. So it's something we gotta be mindful of. Next thing I wanna do is drop it back into the laundry system to one more time to help really flush this sneaker out. All right, it's been a couple of days since we took it out of the wash for the second time. I went ahead and let the shoe completely dry. And then after that, I dropped it into the Vic 2000. What's the Vic 2000 you ask? Well, basically it's an indoor setup, ice box. Some people call it different things. It's got 4,500 watts of UV lights. Basically what that does is it helps brighten and lighten some of these different materials. Now, most of the time when you put a shoe in the ice box, you're typically putting like Soul Revive on the midsoles or the outsoles of it. But for this, we didn't put anything on it. We just put it in there just to let the UV rays try to help brighten and lighten the shoe. As you can tell, it has helped a little bit. Now this sneaker has been in the wash twice. Since that, this suede is cooked. Not only is it cooked because we washed it two times, it's also cooked because it's been covered for a year in grease, grime, hydraulic fluid, different types of greases and oils, and who knows whatever else that Blake's been trampling around for the last year with these sneakers. So we really tried to get it as clean as possible, but then it really destroyed the suede. It's super crunchy, it's super just fried. So next step is going to be resetting the nap on this suede. Typically we would use our dry suede kit for a traditional cleaning shoe. However, this isn't a traditional cleaning as Blake wore these for 365 straight days at work. So for this, I'm gonna need a little bit of help. I gotta call in the big guns, the big homie, Mr. Vic Almighty. Come on in, buddy. Woo, look at this guy. Right. Clap him up. Clap him up in the chat, let's go. All right, Vic, I torched the suede on these shoes. I cleaned them, it got all the dirt and grime and grease and everything else off of them, but the suede, as you can tell, is toasted. So without sitting here for five hours with our dry suede kit or our brass bristle brush, what do I gotta do here? So all things considered, dude, this shoe looks really good. I've been sitting there for the last couple days watching you clean this shoe. It looks a lot better, bro. It's still beat, but it looks a lot better. For sure. So the next step to try to bring back the texture on the suede is to use one of two things. Either we can use a Dremel or some sandpaper. We're gonna have to sand the hell out of this material to get it back somewhat soft. I would use a sandpaper, but I think I'm gonna waste a bunch of time. So I'm gonna go directly to using a Dremel. The only thing I'm gonna avoid is hitting the midsole the white mesh or the stitching. Cause once I hit the stitching, it frays, it comes undone, there's no going back. So you wanna do it? Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna leave this customs and restoration part to you. I'm gonna pull off right, the side way. and Get watch. Out. Get out the way, dude. All right, bro, after about 30 minutes, we shaved off a lot of the material. It's back to its soft texture. A few things I wanna to touch on, the first being this thing was concrete. It took so much effort to get it to this soft texture. A couple more things, in between the stitching, I didn't go on with the Dremel, because you already know I would've ruined the stitching. For sure. So it's a little dark, but it's not too noticeable. Hopefully with the brass bristle brush, you can lighten it up. The last thing, I had to finish removing the Nike on the back. It's one of those things, it's give and take. But what do you think? Looks great, man. I super appreciate it. Definitely brought this suede back to life after it was completely cooked, after cleaning it, and also having a year's worth of grime, grease, dirt, mud, hydraulic fluid, and everything else in there. So I definitely appreciate you coming in and uh, showing me how to get it done. If you guys wanna learn more about customizing and restoring sneakers, make sure you click subscribe and also hit that bell notification. Every single Monday, Vic Almighty drops a new video that teaches you how to not only customize, but restore your favorite sneakers. All right, Vic, I think this is gonna do it for me. I know you got a big project over there, so I'm gonna let you get back to it. That's right, Nick. Good job on the cleaning, by the way. Thanks, buddy, have a good day. You too, bro. 
Okay, Vic got this shoe back to being true suede. Now, the last thing we have to do is hit it with our brass bristle brush just to get some of these other areas trying to light back up, as well as also some of the spots that are sanded down, but they're not super soft. I'm just gonna hit it with the brass bristle brush a few times. Lastly, we're gonna lace the shoe up and we're gonna call it a day. All right, Shoe Care Superstars, that's gonna bring us to an end on this episode of Shoe Care Academy, powered by Rejuvenator on these Tom Sachs GPS in the Studio colorway. Now, our friend and yours, Blake Yarbrough, had sent over his pair for us to clean after wearing them for 365 straight days. Now, we did use a handful of Rejuvenator products to get the sneaker cleaned into its current state. Firstly, we used the Rejuvenator Signature Kit. This was the primary cleaning product that we used in this cleaning. With the patented laundry system, we paired that with the Rejuvenator laundry pods. Also, we used the handy dandy cleaning mat. We also paired that with our Rejuvenator drying rack and bowl combo. We had to call in the big guns, brought in Vic to help me get this suede back to not being as toasted and concrete crusty as it was. After that, we went ahead and used the Rejuvenator brass bristle brush. This is used to help reset the nap and help liven up and lighten up the suede materials all around the sneaker. Now, all of these products can be found online at rejuvenator.com. Make sure you use my link down below to help save yourself some money. Hopefully this video was beneficial for you and you learned or took something away from it. I know this was an extremely fun project for me. It took a couple extra days that I didn't plan on it simply because of how dirty the sneaker was. But without anything else, I got other things to do. I appreciate you guys hanging out. My name's Nick, I'll catch you the next time.